Something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. Howdy viewers, Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing part three of Joining the Dark Brotherhood. When I last finished part two, I had killed the two victims, Hearn and the Orc Bard, and a bunch of guards. Now I'm returned back to the sanctuary to report that the two victims are dead, and I'm interrupted by Astra. Astrid, because of what the Night Mother had reported, and she thought about it. So let's get on with part three and find out what's going on. We need to talk. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but, well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? Okay, so Astrid gave you permission to talk to Armand Motier at Volerund. Now, I did a Volerund walkthrough a while back, but it wasn't playing this character. But let's see what uh, Naziar says. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and live to tell the tale. Well done. And if you contracted Sanguinari Vampiris, be sure to get that taken care of, else you'll end up like our own Babette. Unless, of course, that was your goal all along. Here's your payment. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. Well, aren't we the eager one? Sorry to disappoint, but there's nothing. Try me again later. Actually, Nazir is now showing you some respect, which is pretty good. Now, I'm going to take the fast travel to Volrund, but then I realize in this playthrough of Skyrim, I didn't find Volrund. Usually I find Volrund, I do the one quest, and yeah. So I had to go somewhere near Volrund and ride my horse to Volrund. So I'm going to skip over all that and just cut to where my character arrives at Volrund. Volenrund actually has a good deal of wealth outside before you even enter. And this chest right there, flawless diamonds, some gold. Check out the burial urns. Yeah, there's some gems and stuff. Now over here are some burial urns. And you got to check them out. This one, just some gold. Check again. Yeah, this one I've already checked. Got to move around a little bit and try and get the other burial urn. Well, I didn't. Now you come down here, and before you enter, there's a chest. And, yeah, that has some decent stuff in it. And, well, let's look around. I missed a burial urn. But once you enter a Volrude, there is a quest you could start. And you gotta look on the ground here. 
and you see this book with some gold pieces and Hedix Volarud notes. If you read that, you start the silenced tongues and you locate the ceremonial weapons. And that is actually the main Volarund quest if you want to do it. Pick up the gold here, and I forgot completely about a skeleton. Now, when you go down the main stairs to the immediate left, there's this passage, which has nothing in it if you're playing the main quest and didn't do the assassination mission. But now there's a bunch of draugers here, which you should search because you can pick up some decent gold. And, like I said, these wouldn't be here if you didn't do the assassination mission and were just doing the main mission. Now, after this, you enter into the main mission by opening the door. By the almighty divines, you've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Yes, um, so it would seem. Well, I won't waste your time. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say, the work I'm offering has more significance than anything your organization has experienced in, well, centuries. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets, as well as their manners of elimination, quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of the Emperor. Oh, wonderful. You don't know how happy I am to hear you say that. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. It's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these to your uh, superior. Rexus, the items. Here, here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. Now you gotta deliver the message and amulet to Astrid which then sends you on, she does send you on another kind of wild chase. You're back, good. I'll... You're joking. What's this? By Sithis, you're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was 200 years ago. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what, but what we now have before us... <laughs> you're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And 
this amulet. Hmm. I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. If you have dealings with the Thieves' Guild in Riften, well, you're in pretty good shape, but Delvin acts like he doesn't know you. Oh, now you must be lost. Best you scurry off while you're able. The Ratway, well, it has a habit of swallowing up the uninvited. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, now, how is Astrid doing these days, huh? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Ah, oh, but we can discuss that later, eh? What does the Brotherhood need? Let's see. Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member. Worth a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood its business, but if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe it. Buy it. This, an Elder Council amulet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress, with my regards. Now I gotta run all the way back to report to Astrid, and like I said, Delvin acts like he doesn't know you, and I've already had dealings with the Thieves Guild. Good, you're back. The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh yes, you've got to kill the bride at her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give my best to the bride. Off to solitude with you. Time to give the Emperor some real motivation to visit Skyrim. I will cover the assassination in part four. Because, yeah, 
this is a really long haul, and I'm just trying to do the assassination missions in order. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. Um, if you found it interesting, feel free to leave a message. If you like this type of video, I post four videos related to video games a week, as well as a short on Monday or Wednesday, should I say, and you don't want to miss out. So hit the subscribe button and bell icon. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.